Good day, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. So in today's Horn of Africa update, it would appear that uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia and uh, junior partner in the uh, ethiopian Eritrean Alliance uh, has been summoned uh, by his, uh, his uh, senior partner, in the Ethiopian Eritrean Alliance, uh, Isaiah Safwerki. And uh, the junior partner, Abiy Ahmed, uh, is currently in uh, Asmara, uh, Eritrea, uh, discussing a range of issues. And apparently, on uh, one of these, uh, these uh, breaks in talks, uh, Abiy Ahmed stepped out and uh, declared that uh, Eritrean forces would be uh, withdrawing from Tigray. Now is what Abi Ahmed really meant to say is that Eritrean soldiers would be swapping out their uniforms for Ethiopian uh, army uh, battle dress uniforms or it could be that uh, Ethiopian army soldiers are in, in, in fact swapping out their uniforms for Eritrean battle dress uniforms. Not sure which how that's uh, going to go, but I'm sure uh, in these meetings they are discussing uh, how to uh, deliver uh, the uh, corresponding sizes and fit of uh, of uniforms to their respected uh, armies that are operating inside of Tigray. So uh, yeah, I uh, I do not believe that uh, Eritrean troops will be departing anytime soon from Tigray. Uh, you, uh, I, I have difficulty uh, in believing anything that Mr. Abi Ahmed uh, were to say. Uh, on on one hand, uh, there are no Eritrean troops inside of Tigray, and then uh, very quickly uh, there are Eritrean troops inside of Tigray. Uh, on one hand, there has been absolutely no civilian casualties. And there are absolutely no war crimes being committed by Ethiopian and Eritrean troops. And on the other hand, well, maybe they are. So I, I think uh, whatever Mr. Ahmed says, you have to take with a very, very small grain of salt. But uh, uh, to my understanding, Mr. Ahmed is still uh, in uh, Eritrea uh, taking directives from uh, Mr. Afworki, the uh, despotic dictator of Eritrea. Uh, so I, I assume he will, he will have uh, more to come uh, later once he gets back to uh, Ethiopia. And I mean Abiy Ahmed, once Abiy Ahmed gets back to Ethiopia. But uh, what is going on on the ground inside of Tigray as we speak? Well, the conflict continues. There has been some withdrawal of uh, Ethiopian forces, uh, specifically in south-central uh, uh, Tigray, uh, specifically this area. It would appear uh, that Ethiopian troops are attempting to secure the uh, Tigray-Amhara border region. Uh, that has caused, I, I believe, some significant uh, issues uh, inside of the Hamara region, both uh, militarily and politically. Uh, so it would be uh, in the Ethiopian army's best interest uh, to secure uh, these border areas to not uh, allow or to disallow uh, the TDF uh, free movement from the Tigray region into uh, Amhara to conduct uh, deep penetration raids. Uh, but uh, will that actually be able to prevent uh, that sort of activity? Uh, I'm not sure at this point, uh, but it would appear that it has weakened uh, the situation a bit uh, near Gijit, uh, this town, and it would appear that uh, the uh, TDF is now in control of, uh, of this area as we speak. And again, I, I believe that is... Uh, uh, because uh, Ethiopian troops have pulled back to uh, to secure the actual border and not allow these raids by the uh, TDF. But uh, the fighting continues. I had reported earlier uh, a few days ago from the Doctors uh, Without Borders uh, issue 
uh, on the ambush that took place uh, on the highway from uh, McKelly to Atagrat. Uh These sorts of, uh, of ambushes are very common, and in my understanding, it's difficult for the Ethiopian army to move around uh, inside of the Tigray region, depending on where they wish to, where they wish to move. But uh, we'll, we will uh, see what comes out of this uh, meeting uh, between uh, uh, Afwerki and uh, Ahmed and uh, see what further uh, uh, diabolical uh, schemes uh, these two gentlemen can come up with.